Hey guys, if you're like me, I'm just starting out doing YouTubing and I'm trying to get more good audio into my cell phone. So I decided to get this Dushang smartphone wireless microphone system. I got this off of Amazon. It was left about 130 ish dollars or so. Um, you can find a link in the description below as well as my Amazon store. Also like, subscribe, hit the bell button for my channel because I do a lot of tutorials and reviews as well as Costco finds and other fun stuff. One of my other videos is basically setting up my Insta360 for wireless. So that's another video. So stay tuned for that one that's coming up as well as some other tests and uh, how to videos on microphones and stuff like that. So I'm um, pretty interesting because it's UHF wireless to a cell phone. It comes with a tripod and everything else like that. So if you want to see the specs, you go ahead and pause the video right now or slow down the video and see it. But this is meant for like DSLR, you know, cell phones and stuff. But I will go ahead and try this out really fast because I have a DSLR with me as well as a smartphone. So this is neat because it does have like 20 levels of, you know, volume. It already has batteries inside that's lithium ion charged. So you just use a USB to charge it. It is super lightweight. So let's go right into it then. Oh, um, it does come with only one receiver, even though there's a picture of two, it's only one. Apparently there's something, yeah, it says one. Anyways, let's go ahead and open it up and see. So if I were to use it for about a week or so, it's pretty neat in terms of what it comes with and in terms of the package. And this is pretty neat where it has it. There's an instruction if you want to know, but you know, it basically gives you an Omni mic and you basically just plug it in and get you know, go. It's already paired already, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, comes with a case. This case is really, this foam really sucks. It's not really that good of a foam. It's not very durable. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. It, is, it came with a case and, and stuff. So there is a receiver that it comes with. So this is pretty cool. It actually has a monitor. And this is the only reason why I bought this was because it actually has a monitor with it. So you can plug in the headset. It also has the audio out for your smartphone and you know a dc in for usb charging and it already has a you know it even has like a like a power bar a bar thing for the signal strength of how when you're far away from this receiver so receiver wise is pretty it's it's like a pack of cards it's not that big actually to be honest it has a belt clip a very hefty belt clip a screw on microphone as well as a charging port on the front it's as you can see it's micro usb and you know power button on the front too and the set to like 20 different channels at, at like 570 something um megahertz so if you take a look at that that's the range it goes by in 20 you know there's like 20 levels in there that's interesting because some places probably some some of these uhf uh, frequencies are probably good some are bad you have to, you can actually change it by just hitting the set button to change the frequency to find a better one so other stuff it comes with is a Omni mic. So this is a really small Omni directional mic. Good for most things. Um, and it picks up a lot of sound, which is good. Very flexible cable and it does have a screw on um, thing for you to screw it on to the transmitter. Screws on so it doesn't come out. So nice and tight. This puts to the side for now. Let's turn that off. I already have these things charged up. Uh, it has a, you know, a code shoe mount. So if you want to mount this onto like a top of a camera or something else like that, it mounts the top and then you screw it on. I'll show you a little later too. Big thing about this is that it comes with a USB and a micro USB um, dual. So you could charge both of those things at the same time by plugging into a USB thing or even a power bank you could charge these guys. And that's why I got it. I really didn't want to deal with like batteries and stuff even though it's more convenient to have batteries but if i need to be on the go i could use a power bank and charge it it does have a trs um to trs thing this goes from the receiver into your so the output of here goes right into the cell phone input now what i have is a, a samsung uh smartphone and i'll go ahead and show you that a little later and last but not least it has a wind muff and this is really furry. I don't know why, you know, this is neat. You just basically put this over that mic. So if you're working outside, it's a big furry wind muff. So you won't get all that wind noise. That's it for what it comes with. So let's go ahead and do some testing. So now that I have this all plugged in, um, you could actually go ahead and start recording. But there's something interesting with this system that 
you have to plug it in first. So with the Samsung, it doesn't seem to see your TRRS until you plug in the TRRS first. And then it'll say external mic. So it should say an external mic used to record audio. Then you plug it into the audio output of here to get the audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and, so let's go ahead and record right now. I'm mic'd up already and let's go ahead and record. Recording with external mic and it is really loud. Uh, actually this is not bad and this is perfect for, it's actually peaking beyond it if you could see like that. So what I'm gonna do is change the audio here to lower the, there's these volume buttons in the back of this thing. So as you can see by hitting it a few times, it is actually lowering up to that. Now we don't want it that low. And this is the beauty of this guy is it goes pretty high. So I'm going to have it so that usually when I check, I usually have it so that when I go a test one, two, test one, two, it already peaked past that mountain or that peak. I'm not an audio guy. So as long as this thing gets me audio to this, it's actually pretty good. Check, 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 check check one, two, check one, two, three. To be honest, I don't want to go over this peak, so that's what I'm doing right now. So we'll take a listen to this and not say anything at all. And basically, it's a nice, clean silence, so we'll hear it a little later. So in fact, let's hear it now. So if I paused it, rewind back, and let's go to here and play. Oop, sorry. Let's pull that out. Can't can't play anything with this thing on with the uh, headphones on. So let's go ahead and play again. Or that peak. I'm kind of an audio guy, so as long as this thing gets me audio to this, it's actually pretty good. Check, 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 check one two, check one two three. To be honest, I don't want to go over this peak, so that's what I'm doing right now. So we we'll you can listen to this and not say anything at all. And basically, it's a nice, clean silence. So we'll hear it a little later. So in fact, let's hear it now. So as you can hear, it's actually very good audio coming in. So but at the same time, I'm in a quiet room. There's no other noise in the room. And this is an Omni mic. So a lot of the volume is going right into the transmitter, going into this receiver. And it's pretty clean audio, which is nice. So if you're, let's say you're podcasting or you're working on YouTube and you don't want to be hindered by cables and you just want to wear a transmitter, these, the recording works well. This is cool. Um, now, here's the funny part. You could also add a monitor here to hear exactly what you're getting before it goes in there. That, like I said, that's really good for either just checking the audio yourself or if it's for, like, let's say, your friend who's doing it for you so he could keep it, you know, check check the audio and make sure the audio is good. The good thing about this is that if it's go bad, it, it actually goes lower or, you know, you can see that goes bad. So if I actually turn this off, no light. So if this is not on, that's not glowing. So if you actually were doing a selfie thing and looking at this from very far away, you can see that's green. So you know that there's actually a signal going through it, which is good. Good design in terms of that. Very compact design for, for your cell phone selfies and stuff. Um, this is kind of like an alloy, I think, or plastic. It feels like, pl this is definitely plastic, but this feels like a strange alloy. I'm not sure if it's that sturdy, but we'll see. I mean, I'm gonna, this is a neat device. And since I usually record with my cell phone when I'm traveling, I mean, I do have my DSLR and I also have my, you know, my Insta61R and stuff like that. So I travel a lot of different types of cameras, but quite possibly this is the most useful one because you have a cell phone with you with a camera front and back. And this is a transmitter of the case you have someone you were, you're filming and they could basically, you know, work remotely. So that's really about it, guys. Oh, let me show you the DSLR part of this. So if let's say you want to record to a DSLR or even like so something like this, like this Insta61R, it won't take a TRRS. TRRS are, is this three prong, three uh, line thing. So let's get a DSLR out here. And DSLRs usually take a TRS input. So in order to do that, so you actually need a 3.5 millimeter TRS female microphone adapter to a TRS male um, for audio recorders and cameras. So just like this. So it looks kind of like this. It has a, as you can see, the plugs are different. 
on the bottom part. There's actually three rings versus two rings. So yeah, it's a little different, but that's how you convert it down. So you can start using it with these, with this or with audio recorders. So let's go ahead and put that in too. So the output of this guy goes into, of that goes into a converter. This converter goes into your camera. And it's as simple as that. Then now your cameras can actually get the audio too. So now this camera really doesn't have a audio level. So that's why this is so cool too. Because since you don't know what the audio levels on this camera is, you can hear from here and that is, you know, your monitor, which is nice. Of course, you can always record it, test it first, check what level it sounds like that sounds right on your camera. Keep that level there and then check the monitor and, you know, check this part and make sure it sounds right. Then you could actually start shooting and not worry about it. Now, here's the funny part and not really funny, but this is the messed up part. Now, cameras like this, how do you mount it onto it? You really don't have much of a choice. This is what the downfall about this setup is because this has a... Let's pull this off. If you're shooting with, let's say, a cell phone, this is perfect. It's made for that. It's designed for a cell phone, you know, and transmitting through a wireless lapel mic. But for, if you're going to use it for your, let's say, your GoPro or something else like this, not as convenient because you'd have to find some way to mount this thing, and it really doesn't mount. So let's say we have, it came with a code shoe too, similar to this one, but since this one's already on here, I'm going to go ahead and screw it on. So you could technically have this on your, oop, too much. And then we just lock it up on the top. You could technically have it on top of your GoPro or your Insta61R, and this will do what it does. And it will do the same thing as what you need to do. Um, and you can actually see it from far, far away. But it's very inconvenient because it's a big floppy thing that's in, on top. So I probably won't put it on my top of my camera because it's just going to get hit or something. It's going to break my uh, camera or the hot shoe, you know, because it's so large. Now, but for something like this, where it's like a 360 camera like this guy, if I switch the lens, I could do a 360. It should hide between that 360 lens on both sides. So right in the stitching area. But to be honest, you know, if you want something that's smaller, you should probably get something different for um, DSLR cameras that are it's a little smaller because this is an accident waiting to happen because it's so large, right? So otherwise, it's actually pretty neat. I mean, if you were using a regular DSLR camera, like a um, another receiver, you know, think about it this way. You have this thing mounted, it's going to be like, like that. Sure, if you're not moving anywhere and you're pretty safe, yeah, sure, that's great. But, you know, it's as big receiver that's on top normally the receivers are are similar to this transmitter they hold they're pretty small they basically mount like this vertically or horizontally along with the camera so nothing really hits it or like this so up to you guys if you want i, I probably won't be using it with my dslr you could but i won't i will be using it for what it was intended for which is for cell phones so you clips on so you can quickly use it so that's about it guys it gives good audio it sends a good audio to you know the transmitter to the receiver i was playing around with this for about a whole week and it's pretty neat i'm gonna be honest it's a pretty smart packaging especially if you're mostly recording with your cell phone so that's my that's my fun review and I well thanks for watching of course like subscribe leave some comments below as well as hit that bell button for more stuff from my channel i do a lot of diys and repair work as well as other fun comparisons between older models and newer models that i buy so it's all very interesting on my channel as well as comparison tests between other products and stuff so if you haven't already like subscribe hit the bell button and there's also a lot of costco finds as well thanks for watching i'll see you next time Bye bye